writing is a wonderful process. It's a journey of the characters that are moving around in a book. Uh, storyboarding is very, very important in writing. And we need to make sure that, okay, we are connecting the dots. It's a very, very tedious and tough process. And I'm amazed to see that I know a, a team who has written a book recently. It's none other than my daughter, Rashmi Ashok. And we are going to have a quick interview with her today. Hi, Rashmi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Congratulations on the first book. I think you've done a wonderful job. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks for uh, being here for this interview. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you out of your comfort zone today. <laughs> I'm going to be asking you uh, a few questions. Okay. And I'm going to split this interview into four sections. All right. The first one is about the book. Okay. The second is, okay, how was the writing process? Okay. The third is what you personally learned from all this. And the fourth is, what's the future of your writing or what are you thinking about your career or in general? Okay. Okay. I'm really excited. Are you all ready? Yes. Wonderful. Cool. Let's get started. Yeah. Okay. Getting to the first section of the okay. book. The first question is, what inspired the idea for your book? Well, I work with kids all the time and we focus kind of on main aspects such as empathy, kindness, courage, etc. the pillars. And I think empathy is something you don't see often really in kids or in general in society, which it's important to teach kids from a young age so that they'll learn it for the future. I know you spoke about a lot of things, right? Okay, you spoke about kindness, you spoke about kids, you spoke about stuff like that, okay? But in specific, right, okay, why did you write about empathy? As I said before, empathy is something, it's very important for people to have in general. It can solve so many problems in the world just by people being empathetic to one another. What does empathy, what does, what does empathy mean for you? Empathy for me is understanding each other and putting yourself in someone else's shoes whether it be someone across the street or someone in a different country someone of a different ethnicity mm -hmm. what is this book about can you just give a little description of what the book is about this story is about a teen girl who feels the need that empathy is important in her world and as a result, she rebounds her life to, to feel empathetic towards others. So, how did you come up with the title for your book? So the title of my book is Grow With Empathy and empathy is the main idea of the book. So I started by kind of creating a list of potential titles for the book. And then my dad kind of gave me a few more ideas we made a few like, you know, we compromised a bit and then we came to the conclusion, grow with empathy. Awesome. That's nice. I love the title of the book. Thank you. What part of the book did you have the hardest time writing? The hardest time writing was definitely the emotions because writing emotions is hard. You usually have to express emotion a lot. And so that's the hardest part for me, right? Mm -hmm. For example, when Spoiler alert, <laughs> um, and the main character's dad dies. That was really hard for me to write. Mm. I read the book and I think uh, during that particular section, right? Okay, you used a good choice of words to bring out the emotions of people. I know a few people who commented on it. They said that, okay, they, were, they got a little bit more emotional during yeah. that. I think you did a perfect job on that. Thank you. What perspectives or beliefs have you challenged with this book? One thing that I've challenged specifically, growing up, everyone thinks the world is perfect or the world is a great place. And as you grow up, you see a complete opposite side of that, which it definitely challenged my beliefs because growing up, I was like, oh, the world is great. Everyone's great. And I just wanted to be a small part of society, making a change to the world, hopefully one day making a greater change. Thank you, thank you. Good work. How important was professional editing for your book? Professional editing for my book was a very important piece. So as I started writing the book, 
I started, first I gave some my writing to my dad for him to revise it for like a first revision. And then I worked with an external team to get the book fully revised and cleaned through. What's the most valuable advice that you've been given around writing? Read a lot. It really makes a difference reading. And that's something my dad always told me to do was read a lot, especially while you're writing. And he helped me transfer my reading skills and what I was reading into writing to make my writing better. What's your favorite and most least favorite part of this publishing process? The publishing process was the least favorite part was is very horrific and it was long and it was super exhausting almost like every day kind of trying to get it all published but the best part was definitely the outcome because i finally got it published and he searched my name on people find the book which is really exciting very cool very cool good what advice would you give it give to an author who's writing their first book one major piece of advice that i'd give keep everything organized and plan and structure your story before you even start writing because that is the biggest like thing that's really important to make your book flow properly. So Rashmi, what are the most important elements of writing? I think the most important elements of writing is the first one being a good storyboard. You have to have a good starting and ending and then in the starting and ending in between you have multiple chapters and each chapter has, has to have a good starting and ending and of course a flow in between as well as a good choice of words. I think the words you use make a very big difference. So how long have you been writing and when did you start? I started about two and a half years ago and this book, the story took a really long time just because it was my first book and at the same time I was in high school and doing work for that as well. Actually, it's, you did a very good job in going to school and at the same time continuing writing this book, right? Mm -hmm. Two and a half years is a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. Now, going to the next. So, what did you learn during the process of writing your book? I think the main thing that I learned was being more empathetic towards others. It really makes a huge difference on who you interact with, how you interact with people, and you'll meet really good people along the way. And one thing also is I look back on where I've traveled to. We've traveled so much, be it South America, Asia, um, Europe, other parts of the world. And it's super important to be empathetic and understand how other people live their lives because our lives are completely different than someone else's across the globe. What emotions did you go through during this whole process? This whole process, at first was very overwhelming. As I said before, I had to do high school. I was also working at the same time as writing this book. It started, it was very overwhelming at the beginning, but then it started to get easier and I put a schedule out for myself and I managed my time and got it done. What do you think are the best ways to improve your writing skills? Reading more. That really makes a huge difference. Reading more can help you write better, use better words, create a better storyboard. Mm -hmm. What books have you read more than once in your life? This, I haven't read this book in years. I love this book. It's a story called Where the Mountain Meets the Moon by Grace Lynn and a simple gist of the story is a young girl traveling up the mountain trying to find a way to fix her family's fortune. Mm, very interesting. Very close to your, st your story of growing yeah. empathy too, I guess. Yeah. Right? Okay, cool. If you could spend a day with another author, who would you choose? One of my favorite authors and I've read a few of her books. Her name's Ali Condi, and you guys have probably read one of her books. The name's Matched, and it's kind of a dystopian, romantic book, and her writing is amazing, and I think I can learn so much from her. When was the last time you Googled yourself, and what did you find? 
It was actually a few weeks ago. I was with a bunch of my cousins and we all decided to Google our parents and us. And I Googled myself and I found my YouTube channel and we were kind of just looking through my old videos, mm. and my very first videos, which is really fun. Mm. What's the plan to publish more books in the future? I think it's definitely something I want to do. I think writing, I love it. I would probably do more philosophical books. Maybe I'd do a romance book, but it'll mm. be something for the future mm. <laughs> to okay. decide. Okay. Mm. So talk to us about um, your upcoming book. My upcoming book. Yeah. My upcoming book, it's more of a philosophical, it goes off the, I guess the ideas that I have and like the thoughts and feelings I have about certain topics but it is more mellow and it's very nice for people to read mm -hmm. um, and we get multiple perspectives from people, mm -hmm. from different people but that's all I can say about it before okay. it comes out. Cool. Okay. What is one message that you would like to spread to the world around you? Have courage and be kind. That is the most important thing, I think. No matter who you're facing, whether it be someone who isn't so kind to you, always be kind because that can make one small difference in society. So the message is empathy, empathy, and empathy? Is yes. that what it is? Yes, definitely. <laughs> cool. Wonderful. Great job. Thank you. This is my story and this is the book I've written, Grow with Empathy and It's Force. Wow, this looks cool. Thank you.